In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add VAT. So here we have a very basic table and we have the item that we're buying, which is a car and the cost without VAT. Now in the VAT box, we want to add the rate of VAT. So currently VAT is set to 20%. However, this is the stage where many people go wrong. So we just simply type 20. Now we add, now we add 20 like this the rate of VAT this is inputted wrong and your calculation will be thrown out due to this error so what you want to do is you want to come up to format then cell and you want to select the drop down box for data format and then select percentage and as you can see this 20 has changed to 2000 percent so we bring that back with command so we delete that with command and z if you don't want to change the format box now the only way of doing this manually is you have to add the percentage sign so 20 percent now this will then register correctly and when you come to work out the VAT it will calculate correctly but if you do not add the percentage you need to add 0 0.20 and then Apple numbers will then register that this is 20% so now with the 0 0.20 if we come back over to format cell and then the data format and select percentage as you can see this is now 20% so that's the first place where many people go wrong when calculating percentages you need to format them correctly so now we have the format in the VAT rate set correctly, we can move on. So now we want to work out how much VAT we will pay. So in D2, we want to press the equals key, and then we want to select the cost of the car in B2. Then we want to press then we want to multiply by pressing shift and eight. Now we want to select the percentage rate, which is in C2. Then we want to add the plus sign, which is the control and equals key. Then we want to add the cost. And we want to either press the green little tick or enter. And this is worked out the cost including VAT. So to work out the actual VAT amount we're paying, we can press the equals key, then we can select the overall cost, including VAT, then we want to select minus, and then the cost without VAT, and then press the enter key or the little green tick. So this is the VAT amount that we'll be paying. So that is how to work out VAT in Apple numbers. Hope you found that video helpful, and if you did, check out this playlist here, where we have many other Apple numbers spreadsheet demonstrations ranging from beginner to more advanced. And thanks for watching.